Hello and welcome to my creative space. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Welcome to another DIY video. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join this creative squad. In today's video, I have DIY laundry room decor ideas. I hope you're excited to see how I created them. So let's get started. For my first DIY, I'm using these pieces of wood as well as this uh, canvas from Dollar Tree and these stickers as well from Dollar Tree. First, I'm going to start by staining the pieces of wood. This wood, I got it from Lowe's and it's $3 for 8 feet long. The link will be in my description box. Next, once I have all of that, I am going to take some bigger popsicle sticks. I got these ones from Dollar Tree and I am going to be gluing them on the edge of this canvas. This is going to be support for the pieces of wood. Now I am going in with some hot glue and then applying the pieces of wood i just these were cut to the size of the canvas uh on purpose because i wanted this pieces of wood to be the frame and as you can see there was nothing to hold on to so i had to add the popsicle sticks now you can always glue them on top of the canvas but that will make it smaller and that's why i decided to go this way now i'm just going to keep adding some popsicle sticks to reinforce once that is done i'm taking the stickers and i'm going to start with the laundry room first and i really love this font i thought it was really pretty so i'm gonna go in first and um, see where i want this to go and then once that is done i'll take the bottom piece and i'll cut these stickers individually that is so i can get a view of how it will look first i had them all like this and then i decided i wanted to cut them all individually you'll see in a second here we are so i end up cutting all of them individually and i started uh sticking them onto this canvas now i decided not to use those dots you'll see what we do later now i'm taking a ruler just to make sure that they're going to be somewhat straight and aligned with each other i'm gonna continue to do the exact same thing with the other one and now I am taking a black marker and I'm going to be drawing some dots to connect these words. And this is what it's looking like. We are done with this project and here is the end result. I love how this sign turned out. I think it looks very high end, but that is just my opinion. Let me know what you think. For my next DIY, I'm taking this sign and stickers from Dollar Tree, and I'm also going to be using this ivory chalk paint from Waverly. First, I'm going to remove the hanger off of this and the little sticker on there as well, even though I don't show it. And then the clothespins, we need to get rid of them. Once that is done, I'm taking my ivory chalk paint and I'm going to be painting what is going to be now the front of this sign. Now, I'm taking the stickers and I'm only going to use the word laundry and drop your drawers here. And I'm going to cut these individually because it's going to help me when I go to place them. Now I'm going to start adding the stickers and I'm going to add the longer word first. Once that is down, I'll take the word laundry and place it as well. Next, I am going to be adding back the hanger and I'm adding some twine rope to be able to hang this. Next, I'm taking my antique wax and going around the edges of this sign, just the tiniest bit, just to give it a little bit dimension. Next, to cover up the back, I am going to use this crafting paper. So I'm tracing with a pencil and then I'll take my scissors and cut that off. Once that is ready to go, I'm going to add some hot glue and I'll start gluing the crafting paper to cover up the previous words on this sign. And that completes this project. Really easy. I feel like I made it look better. And here is the end result. I think the sign looks way better like this because that other one had a lot going on in there. But let me know what you think. Hey there, Creative Squad. It's Wendy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're loving this DIYs as much as I do. Thank you so much for your support. And if you could support me by giving my video a thumbs up, leave me in a comment down below. Share my video if you can. Turn on your notification bell if you have not already. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining this creative squad. Thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And now let's jump back into the video. 
for my next diy i'm taking this wire basket and this canvas from dollar tree and i also use my cricut machine to cut the words and the corners for this project I'm going to start by placing the corners on this canvas. Now I found this on Cricut Studio. I just want I want to say I searched it by like frames or like corner frames or corner frame or something like that and they pull up and then I just uh, cut them on vinyl. Okay, once those are done, I'm going to be placing the lettering on it. And so I grab the basket, place it down to where it's going to go. And then I'm taking my ruler to make sure everything is going to be even. Once I am sure that it's almost perfect, I am going to place the vinyl um, words on there. And then I'll remove the transfer paper. And this is what it's looking like. Now, this sign is going to say Lost Socks Seeking Soulmates. And Seeking Soulmates is going to be a different and smaller font. I just picked the fonts that I liked from um, Cricut Studio. And that's what I did. I got the idea from this sign from Pinterest. There's a lot of laundry decor ideas. And this was one that I loved. And I really wanted to recreate. So that is where the idea came from. And this is what it's looking like. Okay, now the basket. The basket is a Dollar Tree basket. And I just painted it black. I painted it black a while ago. I used it on a past project. And I... I painted it with uh, black chalk paint from Waverly. Okay, now for the hooks for this sign. In this video, I used these hooks that came from the suction cup uh, hooks that the Dollar Tree sells. These were already attached to this basket and that's why I used them. And I just wrapped some twine on it to be able to glue it down and have something to hold on to. But I really wanted to use the adhesive hooks that they sell. I know I have a pack somewhere. I just could not find it for my life. So I end up using those hooks if you're wondering where they came from. Now I'm just creating a hanger and I'm using some twine rope and some popsicle sticks and my ruler to make sure they're even. And there you have it. Now here is the end result. I love how this sign turned out. Definitely one of my favorite. Let me know what you think. For my next DIY, I'm using three of these wooden signs in this black chalk paint. I'm going to start by painting these completely in black. I gave it one coat and it worked perfectly fine. It is a chalk paint from Dollar Tree. Next, using my Cricut machine, I cut uh, the word wash, dry, and fold. And then I try to uh, coordinate them with images, which, um, you know, wash and, washer and dryer are, you know, they kind of look the same. So um, I could not find two different ones. So I end up using the exact same one, one for the washer, one for the dryer. And the other one for fold, I found this cute basket on Cricut Studio. And it was really easy to do. I think these are really cute and super easy. And then I just created a hanger because they're going to be hanged in my laundry room. And here is the end result. I love Love how simple and pretty this turned out. For my next DIY, I'm taking this wall decor piece that I picked up from a thrift store. It was $1.91. And I have these pieces of scraps of wood, and I'm going to be using these to create this project. Okay, I'm going to start with this wall decor piece and I'm removing the glass container and the hanger. Now I'm going to move on to painting the wooden piece. That one I'm painting right now, I got it from Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of six and it's uh, wooden planks. The longer ones are square wooden dowels and the smaller piece I'm painting right now is actually from a Dollar Tree frame. It just broke and it was perfect to use for this project. Okay, now once the pieces are dried, I'm going to start putting everything together. So I'm grabbing the wooden plank first and that one is going to go on the top. And once that one is secured, I'm going to move on to grabbing some popsicle sticks and I'm going to be gluing them onto the edges of this uh, metal piece. And that is going to be support for when I go with the wooden dowel. 
okay i end up adding smaller popsicle sticks on top of the bigger popsicle sticks because that is going to be better support the popsicle sticks were glued to the bottom and they were not high enough to support the wooden dowels that will go on there now it's almost even to the metal and it's going to look a lot better well it did end up looking a lot better and now i can glue it and it's going to be secured here is what it's looking like now on to glue the last piece now to make sure that everything is gonna hold up pretty good i'm adding extra popsicle sticks on the back and i'm hot gluing them where i think it's going to need them and here is what it's looking like as you can see i didn't remove the rings one because i thought it was going to be hard and if i try to pull them i thought that they were gonna mess up the middle or end up with holes and um two because i thought it was perfect to you know use them for greenery or some decoration just like this cotton pieces i created this on one of my past videos i'll link it below if you want to see how i did that but um yeah that concludes this project and here is the end result i love how this washboard turned out i know it's not all dollar tree items but it is a very affordable item that if you find something like it you could make for my next DIY, I'm taking this gift box I picked up from Dollar Tree and this chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree as well and this little knob. Okay, I'm going to start by removing the ribbon that the top of this box had. Now I'm taking my chalk black paint and I'm going to be painting the box in this color. Only the bottom, not the top. The top is going to be painted a different color, but I'm going to give it a good coat of paint. Next, once the box is dried, I'm adding a coat of Mod Podge, but only to one side, and that's the side we're going to use here in a little bit. Okay, now the little knob, I'm going to be painting that one completely in the same chalk paint. Next, I'm going to take the top and I'm going to use my acrylic white paint and I'm going to paint it. I'm going to give it two coats of paint to make sure everything is covered up and then I'll let it dry now i am going to take my box and using some vinyl in my cricut machine i cut the words dryer sheets and i'm going to apply them to the side that i added some mud podge and that is to make sure that when i peel it it doesn't peel the paint off it still did it a little bit but it was definitely a huge help having the mud podge already there and i just fixed the little you know parts that actually got peeled added some more paint and like new okay once the top of the box is dried i'm gonna go in with some black paint and kind of distress it to make it look like galvanized and i really love how this looks because now it looks like it's actually a metal box and now as the last step it's time to add the little knob and first i glue it with some hot glue and then i was thinking it wasn't going to be very strong and i decided to go in with a push pin first and then i added some hot glue to the little knob and i just pushed the little knob right on there with some hot glue and i just felt like it was going to be more secure this way and yeah that completes this project this project was inspired by some ideas I found on Pinterest and I'm so happy I did it. Here is the end result. I think this box looks amazing, very high end, but that's just my opinion again. <laughs> For my last project, I'm not using Dollar Tree items, but you can absolutely recreate this with Dollar Tree items. I'm going to use this wooden piece, some acrylic white paint, and even though I show black paint, I'm using brown. Okay, I'm going to start by dry brushing um, some white paint on this wooden piece to distress it. It was painted white, and then I sent it down, and I really like how it was looking, so I decided to go with that look, and I dry brushed with white paint next i'm using this long piece of wood because i am going to be tracing on this wooden piece and the ruler wasn't long enough so i'm using this instead to make my life easier <laughs> and i'm still using the ruler so i can you know measure and make sure they're kind of even on both sides and i'm going to be tracing a clothes pin i'm hand drawing this so bear with me it's not gonna look perfect but i do love how this turns out i used a picture that i was looking uh on google and then i kind of 
you know, went by it and started tracing this. Um, I am going to be tracing it with a pencil before I go in with paint. Then I needed to draw a circle and I use this speckling container. And then I needed a smaller circle and I use this bottle of paint. Once that is done, I will continue to trace my clothespin. Um, but anyway, I am going to continue doing this. And while this rolls, I wanted to share that I got inspired by my laundry room. I don't know if you're interested in knowing that, but my laundry room, it's a hot mess. <laughs> And I wanted to organize it and I thought I could make some um, or DIY some wall decor to make it look nice and cute. And I can't wait to display all of these pieces in there and transform my laundry room. I'm renting so it's not going to be like I'm going to be building something else or anything like that because I'm unable to do that. But I still feel like I can make it look nicer than what it is now. So I I am so excited and I want to share that with you. Maybe it will be useful for somebody and I don't know. I just, you know, I was excited. So stay tuned for a second video. Um, it will probably come out next week. This one's coming out on Saturday, so it'll probably be next Saturday. Uh, but yeah, so here is what the clothespin is looking. Now I'm going in with some brown paint. First, I wanted to paint it black and then I changed my mind. Who knows? Maybe later on, I'll decide I want this to be black. But for the meantime, it's still brown and I went in with brown. So this is Waverly Chalk Paint. I think it's in the color. Um, I don't remember, honestly, but it will be in my description box. <laughs> and this project is completed here is the end result i think this turned out amazing and i really love all of these projects cannot decide on one but you as always let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite also don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you on my next diy bye